I actually don't mind looking at myself at this in camera. It actually doesn't mind too bad. If you're listening to the podcast app, I've got like a black jacket on, a black jumper, some sunglasses and my hair that I haven't cut in a while. I think I'm going to probably let my hair grow out a little bit more. Um, My beard, as you can tell here from the video, look, I think the barber took a little took too much off so i'm going to try and regrow it and hopefully when i go back he can just trim the edges exactly and not actually trim it to it's annoying when they do that isn't it when it's annoying when you go to a barber shop you ask them to do something and they do complete opposite happens quite often i know so i know it's a common um complaint of women when they go to salons usually though from mics from what i've heard of people who are um hairstylists you have most women or most people that go into hair salons have un, um, unrealistic expectations of how their hair is going to turn out, especially if they come in there with a picture from a celebrity. Like, oh, I want to look like Andrea Jolie. And it's like, yeah, but your hair isn't like that. Do you know what I mean? It's not going to sit the same way. So it's a stylist's job to kind of, you know, consult with their client and go back and forth until you find a solution. But when you're going into like a flipping regular, um, you know, yard man, African guy, Turkish dude, Asian guy, white guy, barber, for, for men usually, it's always the same shit, right? Usually you're getting a buzz cut on the side, some sort of fade. You're trimming the top or you're getting it trimmed up. You get maybe some gel in it. There's not much, you know, much to play with in men's hair for the most part. So you'd expect them to just do what you want, innit? Especially with dudes. We're quite, I know with me when it comes to haircuts, I'm pretty, do you know what I mean? I have like my, I have my two or three trims I go for. Maybe a little tape on the edges, maybe a shape up and then maybe the skin fade, the high skin fade, but that's about it. There's maybe the fourth is maybe like the faux mohawk thing where you sort of like tape it in and you leave a bit at the back. But I don't have many. That's all I have, right? And I know they look good on me because I get the same haircuts again and again and again. There's a reason why I don't chop the chop off the top of my hair because, you know, I know how I look. I know my head looks like a flipping 50 pence, 50 pence piece when I chop off the hair. And now at the top, I've got an oblong shaped head. People used to say I had my head shaped like a condom back in the day in school. So that gives you all the idea that you need about why my hair is so big at the top. But I know what I like, isn't it? So when I go to a barber shop, you expect the barber to be like, okay, cool, Agostino, how can I help you today? I say, hey, barber, can you give me A, B, C, and D? And they always end up somehow fucking up A, missing the B, and doing something else completely different on C and D. And you just have to swallow it as a dude. You just have to swallow it. You don't complain. Stiff up a lip, right? <laughs> as, they, as we are Brits here, you give the person your money, and guess what? Like a bitch, you come back again the, the following week. And you come back again the following week because you got nowhere else to go. So... I'm going to do this thing that I used to do back in the day where I'm going to grow up my hair and I'm going to go there and I'm going to tell them what I want it to look like, right? You see, or even, you know what I might do, actually? I might go back and tell them not to touch my beard at all, just leave it completely as it is, and then just kind of shave the sides, make sure the corners are done, but just don't complete, don't touch my beard, just leave it. I don't mind actually growing it and making it look a bit raggedy because I feel I'm a bit fed up with the whole, like, you know, edges and sharpening on the side. I think it looks a little bit weird. There's something a bit strange in it. I think ever since Crystal Leah mentioned it, I can't unsee it now. The sharp edges, like you're cutting your hair, and I mean, it just looks a bit strange. I'm just gonna let it grow out, especially the bottom as well. Let it kind of fade out a little bit, um, and then have the top kind of well done. But then I think the top as well needs to be braided. It's getting too long now. Um, I need to do something with my hair. Um, I need to braid it in some way, shape, or form. I think I might go for this look. Right, I saw some. What's that basketball player's name? Damn it. Um, or even the game in it. The game had some quite cool braids. The game braids, right? You got braids on the top. I forgot what it was like. It was pr- looked pretty nice. I think I might get that same sort of haircut. And I think Lou Uzi Vert had the same sort of thing, right? So it's like this. This is what I might get. If you're if you listening via the YouTube app, then I'm or the podcast app, then I apologize. But essentially, it's like an Omarion haircut where you kind of shave the sides and then you give yourself this on the top. So I think this is what I might end up going for. The kind of braids on top of it might look pretty cool, as you can see there on that picture. And that barber shop, that barber that's actually cutting the game's hair looks really, really cool as well. Yeah, I think I might, I think I might go for that actually. That looks amazing. I'm a big fan of that. Um, cause I, I feel my hair's too long now just to leave it as it is. Um, I need some kind of assistant on top, like something like that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, fade with braids, as they call it. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to type in what it was, but it's actually called fades with braids. So I didn't need to do anything else. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like the way that it looks. So I'm going to probably do that sometime very soon hopefully again i don't go to because you know it's a constant fucking battle to find out how do people find out where to go to to get stuff like this done do you just google braids in london like what do you do if you want to have a good haircut if you want to have the haircuts like you know like the game has in this in this picture right those kind of american fades right where it's super sharp and it fades in and the all corners are amazing where do you go how do you find out who does that in london how do you find out who braids your hair in london so i'm gonna have to go to some I'm going to have to go to an auntie to braid my hair. Then I'm going to have to go to another barbershop to cut my hair. It's just a, a, a absolute madness, isn't it? 
I wish it could all be done just in one place, but unfortunately, no bueno. So yeah, that's what I'm aiming to do the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, get that done. But yeah, um, you know, this is my day to day wares. As I am, um, but as, no, you know what? Actually, if anyone's got any recommendations about where I can go and get some braids done at the top, especially around East London, and where I can get a haircut in the same place, that'll be advantageous. So if you know, I can just sit down, get my get my hair all did up, um, like this, like how is it? Is that Quincy Jones? That's Quincy Jones, right? I think maybe Quincy Jones, but get my hair done up like that on the top, so kind of braids on the top. And then skin fade on side. If anyone in London knows where I can get that done, I'm not even, yeah, I don't care about East London. Anywhere in London, that's really good. Um, please, please send pictures. Please send me links or let me know the people are, and I'll Google them myself. Um, leave me a comment down below. That'd be awesome. And if you're listening via podcast app, send me an email, man. Send me an email. Reach out. I'm Agustino Zinga or Agostino TZ at me.com. That's Agostino TZ dot at me.com. I'll put that link in the show notes here as well. And if you have any tips, Bring a man in, man. Bring me in, man. Let me look light skin, six two with green eyes, man. You know what I mean, let me floss one minute. You know what I mean?